What's up guys, this is Area 51 I built. Um, today we're going to be checking out a game called Dual Revolution. I've uh, been playing it for a while, but um, this is one of those games that I know it doesn't look the greatest, um, and that's okay, we're going to play it anyway, um, because I am really into playing games that maybe nobody's ever heard of. So uh, this is... Um, as you can tell, it's very much so like uh, Pokemon. Um, it is a monster collector game. I uh, have not played on... Ah, there we go. I have not played on PC yet, so I have no idea what the button controls are. This game is available on uh, Android. Not sure if it's available on iOS. have not looked. Don't have an iOS device. Um, so there's not a whole lot of ways for me to look for that. Uh, I do believe it is on um, iOS as well. Uh, before we do anything, I'm going to go ahead and show everybody what you will probably run into in the very beginning. Um, it is an MMO style game, so these are live players here. Uh, you can check this um, by going into your main menu. Uh, go up here to settings. Right now I'm on the US East. I'm actually going to throw myself into US West. As you can see, there's a lot of people, or a lot of servers, not a whole lot of people right now. Um, most people will sit around an International 1 uh, server. I think that's mostly just so people can PvP, um, player versus player battles, in, in case you don't know. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, let's go ahead and log into the US West. Uh, today we're just going to be playing a little bit, uh, checking out the moves, showing everybody what's what. This is the dual stop. Think of this as the uh, Pokemon, um, oh shoot, uh, the healing station, uh, I, for the Poke Center. There we go. Goodness. It also counteracts, or it also acts as a um, buy station as well from this guy here. You can sell stuff, uh, which we'll go ahead and sell my golden nuggets right now. We don't really need them for anything. Um, <coughs> Uh, and sorry, I'm just trying to get used to the keys on the keyboard here. Uh, buy um, Evo cubes are what you use to uh, catch the Evos or, or Pokemon, whatever you want to call them here. Uh, healing stations are a portable healing station that it, when, it, when it's placed, it'll be good for 30 minutes uh, right here, 30 minutes after which it will disappear. Um, You'll notice that there's two different currencies up here. This one here is uh, dual coins, also kind of just called gold in the game. Um, and then right here we have ether. I don't know if it's pronounced ether or ether. It's T-H-E-R. Uh, you can buy it. I am a free-to-play person so far. Um, I think that the prices are a little steep, but that's just me. Uh, and if you go onto the marketplace and trade these, you can usually, it's usually about every 200 dual coins equals one ether. Uh, I do have quite a bit of ether right now, right around, let's call it $30 worth. Uh, it's pretty easy to get in the game. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you how all it takes is a little bit of luck and a lot of grinding. Uh, one thing you will notice about this game when you start playing, uh, <clears throat> is that there is a lot of grinding in this game uh, it, it's just it's not like Pokemon it's not like any of the other monster catchers where you can get to level 1 to 100 in a couple of hours of play this one I think well let's see here they just nerfed or I guess buffed uh, experience for each Evo that's what they're called as Evos in this game so Right now, I'm 34,815 experience out of a 60,000 experience to uh, level them up to level 11. Uh, each battle you'll see is the. Oh, let's get around this little plant here. Um, but each battle is uh, it's pretty low experience giving. So you can get an XP doubler. These little guys here on the ground are just uh, dropped items. <clears throat> um, so this guy, this is a Chena. Uh, we're gonna drop him real quick. 
just going to use roll on. Roll on is one of those really nice moves. It, uh, it gains 10 power as it goes. So this game is kind of turn based, but it's also energy based. So each Evo has their own energy regeneration. Uh, what's going to happen is different Evos will obviously then uh, kind of go a little bit quicker, or a little bit slower, depending on their Evo type. I've noticed that like most of the rock types go a little bit slower, whereas a lot of the grass types go a little bit faster. Uh, water is kind of slightly faster, but not as fast as green. Uh, fire is a lot slower, but there is a little bit more to that as well because they are a little bit more powerful. So you will notice that while, yes, I did win that battle, um, I only gained 130 XP. So if we do a little bit of quick notepad math. Uh, let's see here. So 60,000 XP divided by 130. We're still looking at... Mm, I don't know, probably about 450 battles or so, give or take. I'm, I'm not going to do that math because it would take too long in my brain. Um, but yeah, so, and then you'll see, like, once you hit the next level, here's level 10, here's level 11, it is now 102,000, uh, which is going to be, I don't know, probably, it's close to 1,000 battles. Um, it's probably about 800 and some odd battles. Uh, <clears throat> so far, there's been a couple of, here, I'll go ahead and go into um, the PDF. This is kind of like your uh, Pokemon version of your PDF to see what all you've caught. I am missing one right now, and I'm very upset by it. This Pyrants is adorable. I actually got its evolution by buying it from somebody because I didn't want to bother trying to get the Pyrants. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, currently, there's only 52 different Evos in the game. The game is still very new. Uh, probably has less than, I would say, a thousand players daily. But the game is growing, I think. Uh, and I think that the game has a lot of really good things working out for it. I, I've seen a lot of really negative um, points on, on Steam. But I, I think that the game is actually pretty good. And I think people are giving it much too hard of a time. You know, people got to remember that this game uh, is only put on by two people. Uh, two people that not only do they run the game, but they also run their Discord server. They take all the messages themselves. They uh, they, they do a lot for, for everybody here. So <clears throat> I've been very thankful to have them as devs. Uh, I think they do a lot for the game, do a lot for us players and look out for us uh, there are a couple of things that i think are a little difficult for the game um, one of them is catch rate this is not like pokemon where if you use a regular pokeball um, you can just catch any pokemon that you want it, it's not even close to being like that as you'll see right now, my catch rate, even using a Evo Cube Pro, is going to be 45%, which is not great. Uh, and if I were to use something like a regular Evo Cube here, my catch rate is 11%. So not good, right? Like it's not terrible. I'm just trying to get this guy down a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try and catch this guy. Uh, after every failed, he's going to catch him. I don't know. After every failed, uh, your chances will get better, which is something nice, something that I really enjoy them doing. So we caught that guy at an 18% um, after only two Evo cubes, which is really, really odd uh, because it's just not something that's been happening lately for me. It's been like 10 or 11 cubes later, finally catch something. Uh, Pipia, here's another Evo. This one's actually really decent if you... Uh, level it up yeah eventually levels up into oh, this guy here uh ravimaxis um and he's got a pretty decent speed uh you'll also notice that again it's very much monster collection uh very much pokemon like or pokemon-esque uh 
Oh, sorry about that. Um, this guy's name is Amphimar. He's one of the starters that you can choose from. Uh, this guy, there's a fire type and a, a grass type, obviously. It's kind of your main Pokemon starter threes. <clears throat> Some things, though, that are different from this game. I don't want to waste too much time just having you guys watch me battle for no reason. Um, there's a couple of things, though, where this game kind of differs from Pokemon. This thing right here, you would need two people who are actively online to be stepping on uh, each side. Once you get inside the room, it's the same thing. You need people that are actively uh, playing in order to get through it. I don't really feel like doing it right now because the international lobby can get a little laggy on my computer, uh, or at least on my on my phone. I don't really know about the PC, but I feel like it would be about the same. Um, these guys here, here again, you'll see the little flash. Um, something that <clears throat> you, know, you don't really have in Pokemon. Uh, you don't really have that MMO aspect in a regular Pokemon game either. However, I do know that there are a few things. Oh, okay, I can use different keys to move. That's cool. Um, yeah, I want out. Let me out. Okay, let me back in. Um, did I see another one? No, no other one. It does have route names like Pokemon. You'll see like Millennia City. Yeah, see, we just kind of lagged out a little bit there. Uh, we're even on US West. Um, you can also chat with other people, trade with other people, um, which is nice. You can get plenty and plenty of uh, ether um, or ether, however you want to get pronounce it, without spending any money at all. Like I said, I've gotten 950. Uh, and I am 100% free to play, right? So uh, a lot of people ask me how I do that. I joined the Discord server um, and started trading with people on there. I don't do any kind of black market trades or any, you know, funky trades or anything like that. I just, uh, <coughs> I, I just trade with people and get good deals, I guess. And eventually, you can get whatever you need. Uh, something else that you can do that is also in Pokemon um, shiny hunting there are shiny evos in this game uh, shinies are I we haven't figured out the exact probability of shinies in this game you know it's not like it's one in one out of every 4800 or one out of every 6000 or one out of every 9200 or whatever it is in Pokemon I can't remember for some reason one out of every 9600 I think is what it is in regular Pokemon games um, with no buffs. Uh, this game, I'm going to assume it's right around one in every 2,500 to 3,000 just because of what I've seen. Uh, these guys here are uh, Quakies. They eventually evolve into Cubarock, which was my first guy. This guy right here. Um, these guys here, the bats, they're pretty cool too. Uh, currently, I'm not really doing a whole lot because uh, I have actually finished all the jobs or missions. So there's all these missions that you get to do on a. These aren't daily missions, these are actually story missions. Completed all of those. Uh, now my daily jobs are just kind of the, the same ones the dual two players, dual three players. I'll also get like a find three items, find six items. Cause 3,000 damage to uh, enemies. Those guys, um, I, I'm just not much of a, of a dueler or a PvP kind of person. I like the idea of it, but man, it just gives me anxiety. So I I really try not to play it too much. Um, However, so there are a couple of things, like if you do end up playing this game, there's a couple of these dungeons. Uh, this one here, there's a couple of hidden areas that I never knew about until much later in the game. Go up into here. Uh, there's, I believe, actually I already got it. Um, but there's all, when you do this the first time, there's a item right here that you can get. There's, um, I'm trying to remember where the other one is. I think it's actually back here. <clears throat> um, evolving in this game is also different than Pokemon. Uh, not to say that the evolution doesn't look similar, it does. 
However, you'll notice that it's a little bit harder to evolve in this game. It's not as simple as... Oh, my God. I don't know what is wrong with me. But it's not as simple as just getting to a specific level and then, you know, you evolve. What you have to do is you have to get a... You have to get to a specific level, similar to Pokemon, right? Just bear with me. You have to get to a specific level and then what you'll do is right here these are all their uh, all their uh, abilities that you can choose from so like each one detect sound move that increases the damage of the next attack by 20 damage um, I did not choose that one I chose this one uh, which I should probably swap because I feel like detect is probably better um, but anyway so when you hit level 5, you'll have this, these candies that'll pop up. Boom, 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 boom. Usually it's 4 or 6. I think either 4 or 6, depending on your level. So Evos that evolve twice will have one at 5 and then another one after level 7. So once you complete level 7, I believe, it's level 8 where you have to get the next one. And then they're done evolving. Or maybe it's 10. I can't remember anymore. I've been playing too much. Um, <clears throat> and throughout this, they'll gain abilities. But unlike Pokemon, you will not gain health every time you level up. So the only way you can gain health is by choosing it in one of these uh, ability brackets. Um, however, if you choose this, you are unable to get the other one. Right, so you can't have ingenuity and thick skin on this exact level. Um, ingenuity sharpens the Evo's tactical edge, extending the duration of all its created effects by a remarkable 50%. So some people are like, what does that even mean? Well, that means that when you have things like Fog Bomb, for example, Fog Bomb is when you're playing PvP. So Fog Bomb will uh, stay on the user's field for three minutes and hides the HP and energy values from the opponent. Um, it would extend that by 50%. So as you can see, there's a lot of places where you can choose to have ingenuity. Here's the first one where it's an automatic. Here's the second one, and here's the third one, and that's all of them. But you could, so you could extend that three minutes then by 150%, basically granting you uh, seven and a half minutes worth of that fog. However, that also means that you would lose out on the health. Uh, you would lose out on Oh, uh, the water infinite or water affinity, which affinities are basically uh, all they do is they add 10 damage to whatever type affinity it is. So water affinity makes my water attacks go from zero or go from 10 damage, say on this one, to 20 per hit, which gives me 40 damage at 30 energy used. <clears throat> Um, you'll see that a lot of uh, people that do PvP will focus on two things. The highest damage at the lowest energy. The lowest uh, or, the, or the fastest energy um, gained. So some, like I said, some Evos gain energy much faster than others. You will also have people who in that strategy will uh, negatively affect your evo with damage nullifiers so for example what they will do is they will take a move like i'm trying to think of a move that i have um bum 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 uh, not that. No, nope, not that. Okay, so essentially what it is, they'll take moves. Oh, water barrier, duh. Builds a barrier of water on the user's field for 20 seconds and reduces the enemy's attack by 10 damage. So if that person puts out an attack that has 20 damage, well, now it's only going to do 10. But what they'll also do is instead of using a damage nullifier on myself, there's uh, damage nullifiers that you can put on people on the opposite team um, to make the damage go down even more. So 
say they clay key has a 20 damage move well now with my water barrier it's only going to do 10 damage well wouldn't it be great if i had another uh uh move that could make your damage go down to zero and that's what they'll end up doing and because you'll see most of the moves in this game are going to be anywhere from 10 to right around 40 damage uh <clears throat> if you're nullifying 10 and then nullifying another 10 that 30 to 40 damage move is now only worth 10 to 20 damage and when you have you know some of these guys are 320, 300, or 260, 310, 200, he's pretty low. Um, 310 again. But when you have those really, really high, uh, really, really high HP people, you're going to only take off a small chunk. And you can swap in battles. And so if you're out there swapping back and forth between, say, Amphimar, and if my dirt tops had another one, as long as they stay healthy and stay um, alive, <laughs> then I can just keep swapping back and forth until I just outlast your team. That's all I have to do. I'm not trying to beat you by pure might. I'm just trying to outlast your team. Um, so something else that's cool about this game is if you go back here into Evo tab, You'll notice a couple of things, you know, like he's an earth type, his name is Cuba Rock. You can give them nicknames, by the way, I just don't, I just, I'm not that imaginative, I think. Um, however, if you click on this, you can see like captured by Area 51 rebuilt on 4-3-2024, so earlier this month. Deep Cave Upstairs is where I caught him. And then this guy up here, this is their fertility, how often the Evo can still reproduce. So that means that this Evo can reproduce six more times. This is their DNA strand, or their their DNA uh, gen. So this guy is a CLAX33, is his DNA. And each one, like there's, I think, three different Cuberock DNAs. Each one has its own ability tree. The only ones that have the same DNA uh, strands right now that I know of are starters, the starter evos. Everything else has at least two DNA strands. Some of them have three, some of them have four. Um, when they have events and stuff like that, I think there's a couple that have like five or six different DNAs. But like this guy, Boxo, he's a BAXY99. So let's go ahead and beat him really quick. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Um, oh shoot, probably should have used hammering, whatever. Anyway, um, there are still a couple of bugs with this game, but uh, so he gave me 160 XP. But so that last guy was 199, right? ZZ9. So he's a different DNA strand. We already saw this one. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's important to catch or at least look at what each DNA strand can do and how can you do that without necessarily catching them as you will have to join the discord server. Um, there's a couple of people that have put together a very crude, slightly out of date. I am not trying to shame them or anything. I think what they're doing is great. Um, but slightly out of date uh, um, kind of Excel sheets that are to help new players. Uh, and while I think that they're great, because the game is adding so much so fast, it's hard to get all that knowledge onto one piece of paper, right? Um, especially with games like this, when they're so new, people are leaving, people are joining, there's... Know, nothing happening for weeks and then there's a lot happening and so I think it's important not only for everybody in the community to try and get it all together and to to figure it out but uh man did we find a ZZ9 on the very beginning I thought it was something different but I thought it was a 99Y or Y99 or something like that but all we've been finding now are ZZ9s 
and uh not to say that they so each each evo type so baxo and cuburock will never have the same dna strand as far as i'm aware uh i could be wrong so you know don't don't hurt me or anything oh there it is there's the y99 again um and so they all they all get different abilities but to know which one's best you're either gonna have to join a discord server wait until the game gets bigger if it does get bigger i hope it does uh or by catching every dna that you can find and just you know seeing which one you think might do better in both a pve and pvp instance um something else i was going to show you guys uh let's talk about oh i know let's talk about usables so your bag right here these are two different things this one is for health which i'm going to go ahead and use uh what those guys do is they reheal 80 uh hp this guy here is an energy refill and i believe it refills 80 energy uh quickly very very quickly <clears throat> giving you more turns and whatnot. Um, since there's really no evos that we need in here, I'm just going to go ahead and try to beat these guys without killing my cube rock. Um, early on in the game, you're going to find it's very difficult to do anything because everything is so expensive. Like, I'm sure you guys probably saw at the shop how everything didn't really look expensive, but it gets really here let's just go ahead and get over to a shop really quick i want to show everybody what's going on so once you get all of your daily quests done right so all of your uh or not all of your daily quests all of your missions like your story missions done getting money becomes a little difficult so each one of those items that I get at the end of um, a battle or at the end of a, uh, or that I find in the ground, those for the most part are only worth five dual coins. For the purpose of this video, I will probably use dual coins and dollars in the same because it's, it's just kind of hard, right? So while I am sitting at 47,750, this is taking me quite a bit while and quite a few grind sessions to um, buy and sell a lot of things on the market on the market i mean in the discord server so evo cube classics i could buy right now um well at least 99 so we will say about 300 of them, right? And that sounds like a lot. Like in Pokemon, if you're buying 300 Pokeballs or Great Balls or, or Ultra Balls or whatever, like you're probably pretty set for a while. But you gotta remember, we spent two of them, yeah, two of them already in this in this game on a single Evo. If we go out there and just start trying to catch Evos left and right, I'm gonna blow through this 45 in probably seven to ten evos because there's some of them that just will not stay in the in the cube um the evo cube pro i would not spend my ether on anything in this shop other than the healing station and maybe the xp doubler <clears throat> uh hp shots again they're relatively cheap uh but a lot of people that i've seen especially a lot of really new people the first thing they they think of doing is okay just like in pokemon early game i'm gonna buy some potions that are pretty cheap i'm gonna take those potions and i'm gonna go up and down this route until i get my pokemon to like level 12 to 15 16 maybe even basically until it, it's ready to evolve well in this game the highest level is 12. the first evos that you're gonna find are gonna be level two or level three and you're gonna have to use one to two of these after almost every single battle or what you can do is you can go up on the route fight your fight and then go and heal yourself 
and yeah, it is a lot of running back and forth. Yeah, it, it really is. Here, like just to show you, let me go ahead and put all of my Evos away. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I did say there were shinies, so let me go ahead and grab my shiny, actually. I've had multiple... Oh, I, oh, I can't pull him out yet. I just lost one. I've had multiple, however, I have sold them all, hence the ether. Where is he? Did I put him in the last box? Ah, I did. There's my shiny Pipia. There's my shiny Pipia. Thank you. Um, let's go ahead and put you in. Okay. Come on. Okay. So, I currently have a level 3 Pipia. This is basically what you would be starting out with, okay? So, it's it's not as easy as you think it might be when you're first starting. Granted, Pipia isn't necessarily as strong as any of the three starters, but for the sake of this video, we'll just call it good enough, right? Let's go right out there. Oh. I also found out that uh, E, Jesus, I don't know why I'm doing this so much, that uh, E opens up your, your, uh, uh, your bag, I guess. I don't know what it's called. Into capsules. Those guys you got can actually sell for ten a piece instead of five. Um, is there another one? There was. And there's so many out right now. Oh. Come on, come on. I'm telling you, I am not a not doing well on this keyboard right now. Might have to uh, go back to my mobile version. Holy cow, there's so many of them out though. Okay. <clears throat> Jesus. Can I even get in there? Can't. Sorry, ladies, don't mind me. Okay. So if I only have one. One guy, right? Sonic Beam is going to be my best pet because it's going to make his damage go down. And then I'm just going to have to sit here and choose peck over and over and over and hope that I win. Which... Uh, is not going to look great. Like, my, my chances are not good right now. Oh, maybe. There we go. Okay, yep, so we'll win. I got 100 experience. So now what I would need to do is I would need to go back to the dual stop or the, the Poke Center, if you want to call it that, and uh, go back and heal. And you would have to do this over and over and over until you get either A, high enough level to be able to beat them multiple at a time or b catch enough of these guys to be able to sort through them you know if you have a full team of five which is also different compared to regular pokemon in this game you only get um five evos in a full team so you either have to get a whole set of five and filter through them as they faint or you have to go back and forth and you know deal with the nonsense of trying to uh, just go back to the dual stop and try to stay alive that way. So, keyboard. So it, it's kind of up to you on how you want to do that. I would suggest that whichever option you choose, do not waste HP shots. I mean, some some people do it, and it's fine.
but you just it's not sustainable right like you can't keep making that amount of money because money is hard to come by in this game it's not like in Pokemon where you get a little bit of money every time you beat uh, an Evo oh boy I might not beat this one well GG's I run run cool I didn't want to die because it, it cost me when you get sent back to the dual stop too uh, it's only five bucks but you know money's not really easy to come by in this game so let's say you go out and you beat 30 evos and maybe just maybe you've gotten 20 items that's on a good day so those 20 items are not worth much right like they're only worth five dual coins or gold at this point now there are some things like evo essence that are worth quite a bit of more or quite a bit more um, 75 gold or 75 dual coins which is a lot more but for the most part these guys are only worth five dual coins each right like no matter which one i click on they're all going to be worth five except for empty capsules which are worth 10. Um, <clears throat> there's pearls which i think are worth 500 or 250. evo essence which is worth 75 and you will find one other one which was the gold nugget that i sold in the very beginning of this uh, video which was worth 250 as well so say you know you get two evo essence and then 14 randoms and a couple of empty capsules but if you had to spend you know 300 dollars on HP shots, which is only going to get you 60, or 6, I mean, you know, 6 of them for $300, well, <laughs> you just spent all the money that you just made, while you, so you're constantly having to go out, buy, just to come back, just to go out, just to come back, just to go out, so you might as well at that point just come back, and the same could be said for Evo Cube Classics, right? If you only have three hundred dollars in the beginning of the game, well, you can only buy two Evo Cube Classics, which isn't even going to guarantee you, not even close to catching your your second Evo. So, what I would suggest is going through and trying to do as many missions as you possibly can on three Evos, and then just go from there. And you know, you can decide what is best for you and for your game. Um, there is also a little hidden room back here if you point to the left point to the left um, there's usually some evo cubes right here I believe uh, and then also inside here these are the two developers which I think is so cool uh, be sure to drop us a message if you ever experience a bug cool and this guy oh no no let me out uh, you can reach us at the official dual revolution discord channel or send us an email to support at dual revolution uh, I heard from one of the devs that they used to have a small um, kind of office and in that office they had a ping pong table which I think is really cool that they add that into the game I love it when devs put pieces of their life and pieces of kind of their heart into a game. I just think it makes everything so much interesting, so much more interesting. Um, something else to think about when you're playing through this game is when you walk around stuff, there is an option. Oh, well, maybe I can't have it on this. Um, but there, how did I get in here? Oh, there it is. Duh. For some reason I thought I came into the side there is an option to kind of rummage through people's stuff so the first thing that you want to do is trash cans you can look through trash cans right now it says it's empty because I already collected it I'm hoping going forward that maybe the devs will do like a, a randomizer that every 24 hours it randomizes and kind of you know like a 50% chance or something like that of each trash can having an item in it again 
I think that would really kind of stabilize the economy and the, the need for dual coins um, to not be so demanding um, and, and to be seen as such a uh, rare commodity. Um, once you go through those guys, I'm still finding trash cans that I didn't look in the first time through. Uh, then when you go into people's houses, you can also look like I can turn on the sink, but I can also look in their ovens and look in their fridges. Let's go ahead and close that back up for you, buddy. You can also turn on their TVs, I thought. That was quite exciting to me even break from now. Oh, but I'll be back. Um I think this is where you're supposed to have your battles. Nobody actually ever has their battles here though, which makes me kind of sad. I think it's kind of cool to have battle stations like that. Uh, this is where you first start out in the game, just like this. Uh, there's a ticket station right here, which we all think is going to lead us to a new island, uh, but we're, we have not found out yet. This lady, she'll never battle you. Which is kind of a bummer. But I wish you would. There's not enough people to battle anymore. Uh, okay. Yeah. What about in here? Did I already look in here? Yep, I did. Cool. Okay. So the first time you see all these people, you can duel them. I've already dueled them all though. I think you can duel them two times uh, before they eventually. I'm getting I'm getting the hang of this keyboard using now too. I don't know why it was taking me so long. But yeah, so there there are some days where I'll just walk through grass and kind of rewalk the entirety of the game uh, to uh, just you know find stuff on the ground, but also just to to have fun like people come through people talk to you um especially from a more populated server i might jump over to the international server real quick the only kind of problem thing is that when you jump onto that international server the biggest problem i have is people automatically want to start like battling you and it's so annoying because some people are really cool about it some people are not though uh, let's check down by route one right now there is an event going on where the shiny rate has been um, multiplied by 40 so everybody is shiny hunting right now hence why a lot of people will probably be down in here yeah yeah um, you can also view people's battles which I find interesting because first uh, you should win that battle we can also just look at stop moving. Look at a person's information. Sure. Um, Gokun is one of the people that I uh, have been playing with for um, a while. They're pretty chill. Pretty chill people. Uh, I don't think he knows that I only have one Evo on me right now. So, you know, once once I'm done, I'm, I'm toast, like... GG. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can also look at people information like this. They've caught a total of three EVOs, they won zero duels, last seen on Route 1, they're in the International 1. This P right here is your PvP points. Um, so once you, oh, cool, I like getting rewards. Oh, I think they buffed the dual coins. Oh, no, they didn't. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Maybe a little bit, but uh, that would be cool if they did. So like here, um, Route 1, Evo Cop, 51 out of 52. I'm missing that one. It's driving me crazy. I won seven duels and currently my PvP points are sitting at three. Um, but typically, you will find people that always want to duel. And it, 
gets really annoying sometimes because sometimes right all you want to do is just try and catch your evos and try to kind of be left alone right like you don't want everybody all over you about stuff so um they're probably gonna ask to duel me again not Gokun, but uh this other guy which is fine i i don't mind dueling um yeah see it's already happening now sure why not let's see how we do water barrier he's gonna we're just gonna swap really quick to my boy here because he okay i didn't see this coming Oh dang, look at you go. Look at you go. Wow. Look at you. Dang. Alright. So uh, we're going to do another water barricade here. We're going to swap again. Let's swap him out for him. And now we're just gonna start hammering away. Oh, cool! He's gonna. Oh man, I was just thinking about if I wanted to send out my Kainu or put my Kainu in my uh, in my Pokemon, on my Evo list. I guess I have such a hard time not saying Pokemon. It's Pokemon, guys. Like I know it's not, but we've all grown up with Pokemon for so long that anything that looks anything close to Pokemon, we're just like, yeah, it's Pokemon. Anyway. Mmm, that's too bad. Let's go ahead and break his wall. Let's go ahead and strangle. And now we're done. Oh, wow. Interesting. Interesting why he didn't just finish me off there, though. Huh. Okay. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but, uh... Go ahead and give you a chance. Let's put you back on a water barrier. We're eventually gonna have to try and grind out this uh that burn, but whatever. We'll do this first. He's gonna build up these flames. Yeah, that's what he's doing too. Is he's building up those flames. That's right. We'll take out both of his. Send out your luster. Oh, interesting. Okay, all right. That's fine. Let's go ahead and put on spiky skin. This means that when he attacks me, he's going to take damage uh, like that. And then he's going to take damage again. And now we're going to play a little sneaky here. I'm gonna put on two of those. Hopefully, try to uh, not get destroyed like that. But that's all right. Ah, he caught me. Sometimes you can put it on without being seen, and uh, it just it makes it a little bit easier. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and rapid spin, bite, we're going to keep getting burned but that's alright, the hope here is that a That I can just keep him at bay. I'm probably not gonna win this. Uh, yeah, I don't foresee me winning here. Okay, that's alright. I probably would have been better off doing the hammering, um, but uh, that's alright. Do water shuriken again. Just to drop his. 
And now we're just going to have to try and friggin' wait it out. We'll at least get past... Yeah, we'll get past Kalaros, but we're not going to get past anybody else. I don't know. He's got wind... Oh, nice. GG. Probably shouldn't have even taken that one, but whatever. Um, okay, that's right. We got those hunters. Hello. He's probably going to want to do a trade or something. He's probably going to ask how much for that shiny Pythia. Um, which is fine. Uh, I don't mind. Like, I'll probably end up selling it, but I probably will wait for. Uh, I probably will wait for after. Um, how much? He, now he's gonna try and sell me a golden delivery. Um, which if. For for shiny Pythia? Ah, yeah, no, never mind. Nah, keeping to that after event. <clears throat> um, the reason I do this, he's probably going to be peeved, but whatever. Uh, the reason I do that is to uh, try and, if you sell a commodity during an event where that commodity is not very rare, right, you're not going to get as much money or as, as much ether out of it as you would um, selling it well after the event, right? Like, it, it just makes sense. Uh, ooh, trunks. This guy's really popular, really, really, well, not really popular, I wouldn't say, but really well known. And, nah. Um, um but he's, I didn't mean to say that he's not popular. He's just uh, really well known in the Discord server. I don't know what you want from me, homie. Like I'm not I'm not gonna sell it, it's just not for sale right now. Maybe if he offered a lot more, but 19 ether is just not worth very much. Like it's not worth nearly as much as GTS. What? Oh. Uh. What's up with trunks? But yeah, like, oh, he's investigating the ring. Yeah, ranking's kind of fudged right now. Rank 20th right now. Um, v is somebody that I that I battle quite often, and probably not for a good reason. <laughs> like, he doesn't. He's, I'm never gonna beat him, but I, I want to try. Like, um, you can also only wait. Oh no, 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 no. What do you, what are you trying to trade me, homie? Okay. I already have one though. <laughs> no. 
No. No. Ah, I already have one. I, I I have all of the evos that you have. I trust me. I don't have anything that I do, or you don't you, you don't have anything that I don't like. Anyway, 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 anyway. Um, yeah, but th this is. This is Dual Revolution, and I really think that the game is fun. I really do think that the, the devs are trying to do something with this game. I think that it's more than just, you know, your average clickbaity game. I really do. Uh, no, I don't want to leave the game yet. Um, but I do want to swap back into... There's just too much stuff going on over here. But, uh... I think that the game is a lot of fun. I think that the the devs really want something to happen out of this. They haven't been money hungry. They they've been more than open to suggestions on how to change the game, how to make it better, um, right? And and that's what it's all about. I think is um, finding a dev team that knows how uh, to develop a game, but also knows that they aren't much without their player base um, and I see this game getting a lot of really really crap reviews on Steam about how it's too grindy about how it's just a money you know a money grab and I, I understand where people are coming from <clears throat> for the prices of everything right like if if for example you got uh, a starter and then you wanted a different starter that new starter would be 120 ether which doesn't sound like a lot until you figure out how much ether is worth that would be another five dollars for each one so you need to you know spend 10 bucks to get to get both of them sounds like a lot really does but you could also do trades you don't need all three starters out of the three i think that the most used one right now is probably um Amphilio, i think is what his name is Oh, Amphibio. Um, Amphibio is probably the most used one uh, because he just, he's got this ability, right? Like this one, I uh, can't see. Oh, here's the, what it looks like for the, the lock. Um, AMF 3XY, just out of curiosity. AMF 3XY. Oh yeah, okay, it's the same. Um, and, and that does sound like a lot, but there are other things that you can do. Like if you do end up finding a shiny, you can sell that shiny for, you know, 19 ether is not a whole lot, but I found a shiny Ravelar, which is, uh, well, I'll show you really quick, Ravelar. Um, this is Bird. This guy right here, I found a shiny uh, variant of him and sold it for almost 500 ether. So I think, you know, a lot of people don't have that kind of luck right off the bat. However, through the game, you'll find that you can make these trades with people to get, uh, you know, decent evos. There's also a lot of events going on. Um, one of them is a, a golden, well, it's actually the event is over now, but a golden Delibri egg. Uh, you use that egg, you put it in an incubator, the inc and after 24 hours you hatch the delivery. Um, that I think I sold for 400 or so ether, and then I just sell other things through Discord or through um, various servers or through chats like that. Uh, and it it makes everything a little bit of a fun time because it's a, a money management game along with a Pokemon game. Um, so yeah, I, I really do think that this game is fun. If you do end up joining, please come and find me uh, sometime in the game. Just Area 51 rebuilt. Uh, come find me. Tell me that you saw me in a video or some, tell me that you watched my video or you, you 
just know about me in Discord or whatever it is, and I will set you up with some stuff. I'll give you a couple thousand dollars to, to get started in the game. Um, you can't trade in the very, very beginning, but once you get, uh, I think it's the trade certificate, um, which is one of these items I'm trying to find. Oh, it's in your bag. That's right. Once you get the trade certificate, um, <clears throat> let me know and we'll get something started for you, right? Like, I'll, I'll, I'll get something for you. <laughs> uh, and, and I'll get you a couple of items or something if you need them. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to give my whole entire life away for you or my whole entire candy, you know, whatever. But if I got a bunch of extras like the steel candies, I don't need 14 steel candies right now. I don't really need any candies because I have all the Evos. Um, and I've got the teams that I that I kind of like. So anyway, if you do find me, let me know and we'll set something up. Uh, until then, I'll see you next time. It's been Area 51 Rebuilt. Hope you guys have a great day. Game on.